What's up guys, I'm back for another video. I'm gonna be modifying the spindles on the Honda. I just took some measurements, kind of figured out what I'm gonna be doing, where I'm gonna be cutting at. Right now, this is where the wheel is on, so I got plenty of room to bring that up. So what I'm about to do is I got this one set up on the table. I'm just gonna take an inch out. Maybe I'll take a little, I'll take a little bit more out. I'll just cut on the outside of the line. So it'll be like an inch and an eighth. And then I'm gonna be kind of bringing that in a little bit and tilting that down. This measurement right here from the table is six and a quarter. So by the time I'm done tilting that, I'm thinking it's gonna be at about five and three quarters. So it'll be like an inch and a half, which is about hopefully 10 degrees. Um, but yeah, I guess it's kind of a guessing game at this, but here we go. So I'm using the Porter band for my work. I really need to get one of these, but I got this cut in a matter of about 30 seconds. And the cut I made's fairly flat and square. Um, I'm gonna be grinding these and this exactly the same and trying to match it up with the other spindle. So these are just kind of like cuts that I made some measurements, make a cut, and then once I clean them up, I'm gonna get them exactly the same. And that looks pretty good too. Pretty uh, flat and somewhat square-ish. So now it's time to grind, bevel the crap out of these and get them uh, straightened out with the other one. Okay, so I got the spindles matched up along with the top parts of them matched up. There's just a little gap, just a little gap there. So next up, I need to bevel this. So I need to make my markings on where I don't want to bevel anything and then where I do. So what I'm doing right now is marking these things out so it's where I don't want to grind and that's where the bevel, like the flat part of the bevel is going to be. So I'm just marking out basically the center of this indent and then I need something straight to make a mark. So I'm just going to leave a sliver flat there, I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And then on these as well, so. After about an hour or so of grinding and getting these things all good, I got them ground and fairly even. Uh, next up, I just gotta clean off this residual stuff on the outside, so I'm gonna use a sanding pad and on like the inside groove that's hard to get, either a Dremel or a cutoff wheel, just kinda stick it in there and clean it. But. Okay, so this spindle is ready to be welded. What I did, this was a six and a quarter. So it's right now this is at four and three quarters inches. And so I'm gonna tack it on either side and then double check that and then start making some welds. I'm trying to keep that right at 4.75 or to five inches, it could be in between. Okay, so I got just the tacked welded spindle in. And I can't quite get the wheel straight, but looks like it's gonna work great. So I guess I'm just gonna keep welding them. Can't get a great picture because the brake's in the way and I don't want it to take it off, but not bad.
Okay, so without a coilover in which I'm not sure right now if that coilover is gonna hit the spindle still, but this is where we're at right now. Looks extra good. Um, I probably have to extend the lower to make this work or take out the upper, but that fitment is kind of on point. So that's kind of what I'm going for right there. Fucking mint.